Hello everybody, my name is Necro, and we're going to be replicating the basic stealth system from the Unreal Engine 4 Marketplace today, as it does not support any multiplayer at the moment. Well, I'll show you how to fix that. Let's do it. Create a project. For obvious reasons, we'll start with a brand new project. And show you how to do it. Alright. I don't know why loading the map. I would show you what it does right now. But loading the map seems to mess it up. And then I can't get it to do right. So I'm going to edit this first. Before I load the map up. Okay, here we go. First things first, under class defaults. Go down here and check component replicates. File, save. Under variables, we will replicate the efficiency, current efficiency, starting efficiency, target efficiency, and efficiency lerp. Now some of these might not need to be replicated. I haven't really extensively tested that, but anyway. All right, we'll replicate duration under timers. We'll replicate all the bullions. Pretty simple. We're going to delete that because it doesn't exist within the blueprint. Can cast was not ever used. Maybe he used it and then removed it without deleting it, but nevertheless, not used. Alright, distortion. Current distortion replicated. Starting distortion. Pretty much everything but the default. It's just replication replicated. Yeah, that's just not a final solution, but you know. We'll get you there. A lot of these would be rep notify, such as efficiency, bullions, and distortion. You'd want to get that on player join session. Alright, all that's replicated now. And while we're here, might as well finish up what we're doing. Alright, so activate stealth field. First we're going to break line. We're going to create a new custom event. So just right click and type custom event. We'll call this set distortion visible for Okay. Go over here, replicates, and we're going to select multicast. And we'll plug that in right here. And now this, we'll just call set distortion visible for all. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. And that's it for this. Okay, so basic stealth components done. 
Now I can open up the character. I'll scroll over here to where it says system input. Calls toggle stealth. So we'll just we're gonna break lines there. Move it out. Call a custom event. We'll name it toggle. Oh, no, we're gonna name it server toggle stealth. Server stock toggle stealth. Hold on just a moment. Couldn't see. All right, we're gonna add a new input to our new custom event. Type in stealth here. It should come up. All right, basic stealth component reference. And we'll name it BSC for short. And this we want to run on server. Plug that in there. That into there. Then we'll call server toggle step. Sorry if I'm quiet. This is my first video and I'm new to this, so bear with me. Alright, we'll plug that in. And the reason we do it that way instead of just shooting this right in here is because if we did that, then it would call the server's basic stealth component every time. And that's not what we want. We want to call the one who pressed the button it's basic stealth component. All right, we're not going to do all of these because I skipped instant within the basic stealth component and skip break and all that. So we're just going to do the ones, we're going to do damage stealth field and toggle fit stealth. So again, we break lines. I'm going to duplicate this. Bring it down here. Oh, let's make it bigger. Sorry. And we're going to name this something else. We'll name it Server Damage Stealth. We want this to run on server as well. Just if you wanted to do all these, they will be pretty much identical to what I'm doing here. However, the instant will need more done in here because it happens here, not here. And it's another event. But anyway, should be enough to get you going. Okay, we're done with that. Oh, no, we're not. We gotta call it, don't we? Server damage stealth. Plug it in. It's ready to go. Alright, we'll go ahead and compile and save. Alright, now this is what kind of messed me up a little bit because I wasn't sure how this asset worked and everything. We'll go under mesh and we need to change these materials to MIBSS character 1 and MIBSS character 2. Okay. And we can delete this. Okay. You don't have to. You could change your orientation right here to match this one but I don't really want to do that so we're just going to delete it and we'll duplicate sure let's go and we'll make that the child of basic stealth component all right and we're going to change the materials to MIBSS distortion 
Both of them will be that. Okay. We don't need an Anim Blueprint because it will match from the basic steel component. It'll match the parent. And down here where it says visible, we want to uncheck that because by default we don't want this distortion effect visible. We'll let the basic stealth component handle that. Okay. Everything looks pretty good. Compile and save. That's it, guys. Let's go test it out. Maps, loader map. I'm going to set this to third person game mode so that we can actually spawn some clients. Let's set the number of players to three. We're not going to run dedicated servers so you can see what's happening on server, client, and client. Seems to be the best way, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. It's not going to match up perfect. Hopefully everyone will be able to see. I'll go full screen in one maybe. <laughs> Alright, good enough. And we're going to hit play a new editor window. Alright, I'll hold shift F1. I'll set him over here. Alright, let's get where we can all see what's going on. Let's gather around here. Alright, pull the server over here. Now they're both looking at me. You can see me moving over here. And here goes the server. Toggles it. Oh. Look at that. You can barely see the distortion effect at the lowest settings, so we'll damage it a couple times. Now you can really see me. See that it's working. And that's the server. Break it. Okay. Let's do a client. Toggle it on. Everybody sees me disappear. Damage it. Everyone sees it damaged. Look at that. That's what we want. Alright. We'll just leave him like that for now. Here's this other client. See him disappear. Alright, we damage his, broke it, yep, looks like everything's working guys, we can go back to it, so hard to see him like that, I'd probably use this as the default, I don't know, I'll probably configure it to where when you move around you're more visible, and when you stop, you're less visible. But, you know, when you get hit and stuff like that, more visible. But, I just wanted to show everyone how to replicate it. And now you've seen it. Let's check out full screen here. I know everything gets kind of blurry. Oh, yeah. Now you can't see my other screens, but anyway, as you can see, it's working very well. All right, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. And up next, I'll be showing everyone how to replicate the uh, instant swimmable water. So be on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm.